And while interest rates are expected to stay put, rent and home prices continue to climb. So what should you do? CBS News Miami's Chelsea Jones reports that some figures are pointing to renting. An analysis done by Global Commercial Real Estate Services says it's 52% more expensive to buy a home right now, so renting might actually save you money. And one local prospective home buyer says trying to find that forever home is coming with some hurdles. Downtown Miami is home to high rises, and Samuel Tuckerman is a resident in one of them. But I did grow up in Miami. Uh, I do love the city, and I want to live here, but it's challenging. He wants to buy as he continues to grow his family, and two years ago, he was well on his way. We found a pretty good opportunity in North Miami for like 280 k uh, Unbelievable deal for a penthouse. But the deal went to someone else. The market was competitive, so instead of buying, he decided to rent. The Wall Street Journal cites an analysis done by Global Commercial Real Estate Services, or CBRE. They report the cost of buying a home is at its most extreme since 1996, citing the average new monthly mortgage payment is 52% higher than the average apartment rent. But local real estate expert Christopher Molina says there's more to consider. That might be correct in that small, isolated area called New York. However, South Florida has many different market forces working in its benefit. In fact, homes have gone up 5% this year alone. He says tax write-offs, deductions, and home equity can help lower costs in the long run. He says ultimately, the time to buy is now. Now the market's settled. You can make more offers, you can make lower offers, and you can actually find the home that you love. Yeah, it's going to have a higher rate, but you refinance later. But for people like Tuckerman, renting is the option right now. You know, the issue with these high interest rates, it makes it really challenging to commit to something, even though you could potentially refinance next year. So Molina says the inventory here in South Florida is limited and prices are likely not to drop. So his advice to first time home buyers is to look into some programs and then buy some property. In Miami, I'm Chelsea Jones, CBS News, Miami.